this is my video response for Lydia's altered TP roll challenge and um, I came up with this so I'd like to share it with you and it turned out very shabby chic I was searching for papers on my I just grabbed a whole bunch of my six by six pads to see if I could find a paper that would inspire me to create a love Valentine's um, theme TP roll and I found a few but the first one that really caught my eye for this was a paper that had all these little flowers and like pastel colors and it's so delicate and feminine and beautiful that that's the one I decided to use so I first um, started out by painting my TP roll inside with acrylics and then covered it with a paper and after I had covered that I placed one of these doilies and it looks like this and they're from um, the paper bag lady one I bought a whole bunch of doilies from her and I've been using them in my projects I just love them I love this echo color so this is the same doily that's in the front so I, I have one in the front and one in the back and the second thing that really inspired me for this piece was this um, little love quote that I found on a Kaiser craft pad and it says love is the master key which opens the gates of happiness Oliver Wendell Holmes so that's the little inspirational quote that I have here that has to do with love and I just put two brats on the edges of it and I glued it down with some pop-up glue dots the clear ones so that I could, could create like a little arch to put things through and after I did that I created this little bouquet for it so let me explain what this looks like it's it's just my the three these are three flowers that some um, someone had shared with me and I'm super sorry I can't remember who sent them to me but I just love them so much and um, thank you whoever you are I just I when I get flowers like this I usually just put them in a big bowl where I have all my loose flowers so that I can grab them and use them so I'm super sorry I can't remember um, each and every one's flowers but these are super pretty I just love the two-tone on them so much so I used the, the three of them that I had on this little bouquet that I created I cover the whole thing with um seam binding it's a very very pale pink seam binding and then I made a bow to hold it up I mean to just finish it up and I added this stick pin that I made with these two beads that Sharon just sent me so it's a very it's a pale pink well it's not pale it's a pink um, bead and this silver tone bead super intricate I love those they're so pretty so I made that little bouquet here and that goes into that little arch part and then this key I just added some seam binding to the top and I left it like that I didn't want to glue these things on because if I um, I'm gonna share this with a friend and when they get it they can reuse everything or they can just take them in and out it just makes it more interactive so I thought it would be fun and since it's meant to be hung when it's hanging and you're not moving around it doesn't it doesn't um, come off as easy as it does right now when I'm moving it all around so the next part would be this bottom part and I have two layers of lace so I have this peachy pink lace that I just got here and some of the blue one that I just bought and then this um, drop, uh, drop pearl trim is a trim that I bought from Marisa creative young mama so thank you Marisa this little heart here was sent to me by Sharon so I added it here and then this part here is a uh, this is a jewelry part that I from the jewelry that I bought locally that I have them all in a little stash and then this button here that I glued on the top is from a uh, bag of buttons that Sherry Wolf shared with me so and that button is so pretty I just love it and I'll be sharing with someone when I give this away so it makes out I don't know I think it looks really pretty with all those little things on it but you guys let me know what you think and then on the back all I have is that doily with a little silver pearl and the same trim and then at the top this is a little seam binding and it's very pale mint green 
Then at the top I have the same blue lace that I used at the bottom and this little teeny tiny flower trim that I also bought from Marisa, Creative Young Mama. And that is my favorite flower trim. I just love that size. It's so dainty and delicate. I just, I really, really love it. So they're cream flowers. And then for hanging, I just, um, I used two brads on each side and they're blue. So they're underneath that lace. And I used the same lace to hold it up. I was going to use some chain with ribbons going th um, threaded through, but I decided to keep it very shabby chic and like pastel -y and delicate so I decided against the chain for this one <laughs> but that's my TP roll for the latest challenge Lydia thank you so much for your challenges I love participating and um, I wish everyone who's participating the best of luck I just I'm glad to join everyone and getting to see everyone's projects and their um, their answers to this challenge that she gives us and um, yeah, I'm, I'm all into creating TP rolls now. I had saved a couple of them to make a TP mini, but um, I decided to use it on this one instead. And I already painted two other ones and I have three more waiting because <laughs> I think they're really pretty to make like little presents for people. So these are the papers that I already saved for the ones that I'm gonna be working on. So I have this one that I really like. It's like a lace with red and cream. I have these two that were sent to me by Lydia in a rack and they're very Valentine's. So I think I'll be using those two for um, other TPs. And um, I have this other one. These are the papers that I grabbed yesterday that really caught my eye for, for these type of projects. And then the last one that I really, really like is this one. And it's this is from a pad that Alisa sent me. And it's so pretty. That's, um, it's varnished. So it's matte and varnish. And this is from, I can't remember. that They're all in the bin back there. But, um, because I just pulled the papers out. But this was sent by Alisa. So thank you, Alisa. Because I think I'm going to be using this paper for one of the TPs that I'm going to alter. So that's, those are going to be my next projects. Um, and... I think I'm about caught up with the challenge that I wanted to participate in and um, I hope I have more time to keep on participating. There, there's so many cool and interesting challenges out there and so many friends that I want to be able to um, support. I just don't have all the time to do it so I wish I could, I wish I could. I can't wait for summer till I have more time to play like late at night and I can create more things. So hugs and kisses everyone, thanks so much for your visits and for your comments and welcome to the new subbies. And yeah, so this is it. That's my share of the Alter TP role that I created for Leaders Challenge. So hugs and kisses. Take care.